All right, this hunt starts um, in late September. Cole sent a picture to the group of a really old deer and said, would anybody like to hunt this deer? And he went out and slapped a reveal uh, camera up and this buck was coming in almost every day on a mock scrape that he made in a fence gap. So I said, yeah, I'd like to go take a crack at him. We went in there, Wyatt dropped me a pin on On X. I went in with sticks and, and a stand and all my camera gear and bow and made the setup and tried to do it super quiet. Went in really early, like two o'clock. And uh, I just did that so that I could take my time and not be loud and not sweat too much. Uh, the Ozonics really helped me because I did get to sweat and it was hot that day, but the Ozonics saved that hunt for sure. It's 3.30 on October the 3rd, and uh, I'm on one of Cole's farms. Jake was gonna film me today, but he had some stuff to do, so it didn't work out. But Cole's had this old buck coming in. We're not sure how old it is, because this is the first year that Cole's had this farm. But it looks super old, and he's got a junk rack. And I lost my farm last year, it got sold. So uh, I'll take anything I can get. This deer's been coming in every day almost to the scrape right behind me. And right here to the east, I've got beans and they're all green still. So we think he's hitting that scrape and then working in there. And if he does what he's been doing, I'll probably have a pretty good shot of, of getting him. All right, well this spot that I was hunting had uh, a thick draw and I didn't really know much about it, just what Cole and Wyatt had told me. But it had just a thick draw and a bunch of green beans still. And we thought that was the ticket, and it turned out that it was. Sonic's running it be over with. I just heard a deer cough or something cough right by the scrape. So hopefully it's him. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled and wait for him to come into these beans. Well, I'd seen a ton of does and uh, it was getting late and I get a text from uh, Wyatt and he said that the deer's on the scrape uh, right now. So I knew that he was there and I knew I had to get ready. And I checked the wind and moved the Ozonics to where it was in the direction I thought he was going to be moving to. And uh, not 30 seconds after Wyatt texted me, he stepped out into the field. Okay, so as he was coming in, uh, there was a little bush there right in the bean field, and I have no idea why he was so aggressive, because there wasn't another buck in the area, but he, he tore that bush up, and it was really cool to watch him. I mean, he had no idea that I was there, and he just was in his own element there, and it was awesome to watch him uh, do his thing. Finally, he, he turned and came right into me at about 12 yards.
Oh, heck yeah, dude. Here he goes. No way. I didn't think it was going to happen. Why it told me to just wait it out. Oh my gosh. He's a lot nicer buck than what I thought, for sure. No way. <laughs> that is awesome. Come out last light, last deer to enter the field. And I stuck him. I think I went right in his shoulder blade. But I, I got plenty of penetration. Let me call Wyatt. Right down the fence line. Hanging hunt. Got him on the first night. Dude, that's so awesome. Congrats. Yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna come up to the truck and we'll review the footage and then we'll go get him. Yeah, we'll we'll meet you, we'll go we'll go film our recovery. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Dude, that's so cool. Dude. It couldn't have worked out any better. He was just feeding real slow. And I you know, I just put the camera okay. right where he was gonna Thank be you. and I let it loose. Sweet. He tore this uh, bush up right there, and I got it on camera. It's pretty cool. When he walked out, I was like, he's dead. I mean, that's him. Because yeah. there was a couple does right by him. I thought they were going to blow the whole thing, but he just took off in front of them and come right in here. I couldn't get any footage of him because there's trees until he came, yep. until I shot him. Well, that's all right. All right, I'm going to get down, dude, and I'll come meet you guys. Yeah, we'll we'll go meet up at whatever at the house or whatever. We'll go down there and get some lights and we'll go film it. All right, sounds good, dude. All right, well, we started tracking the deer, and uh, we were on good blood, and we ended up finding the arrow, and we probably went 100 or so yards, and the guys and I decided that it would be a good, good idea to back out and come back in the morning just to be on the safe side. Uh, we knew he was, we knew it was a good shot. We looked back at the shot. We just wanted to be safe. All right, well, it's the next morning. We had to leave him lay overnight, tracked him a couple hundred yards, and decided that was the best option. And uh, hopefully he's in here and he's expired. We're gonna take up the blood. We know where last blood was. We left my luminoc there last night. Hopefully he's not too far, but we'll keep you guys updated. All right, well, it is the morning after us and shot that buck. Uh, we tracked him for a little while last night and decided it was in our best interest to just back out and come back this morning. And we actually lost blood a little bit past where we were last night. We were kind of down to uh, just grid search and Cole and I were walking up this draw. We just got a call from Austin. He just found him. He's north of where we were looking. He didn't go very far. So we're gonna go meet up with him and take a look at him. All right, well, Wyatt and Cole just got here. And from last blood, we're probably only 80 to 100 yards. And there's a little peninsula here and uh, Wyatt and Cole went left and I went right. There's a little CRP, went around it, and this creek's real deep here, so I just followed the edge of the creek. And uh, I knew if he got in there, if he was hurting real bad, there's no way he'd get out of it. And I just walked up on him right here. I said a prayer to God and I said, please guide me on the right path, and, and he did. So let's go take a look at him. We got him here and the plan worked. Wyatt and Cole have been doing some Recon for me, the camera's been telling, the Tacticam reveals have been telling us he's coming every day. So Wyatt told me uh, he could, he let me borrow his sticks and stand and did a hanging hunt and uh, even picked the tree out for me. All I had to do was go in there and kill him. And uh, it's kind of funny, I thought it wasn't gonna happen, it was getting dark and Wyatt texts me and says he's at the scrape. The reveal sent a picture to Cole and uh, 30 seconds later, he's in the field working right down the edge to me. And I put a good shot on him. It's right right where you want it. I don't know what happened. We tracked him, how, how far do you think, 300? Probably three, he probably went 300 yards. 300 yards. Yeah. Big and, body deer, just a brute. So. Yeah. I don't know. These animals amaze me. They're tough. They're so tough, yeah. I'd what say he's a little better buck back in the day, but I'm still happy with him. He's real old, and that's the goal is to kill kill old deer, mature deer. Well, ever it, since they dropped velvet on this farm, this has been the only deer yeah. that I've had on camera that's in the middle of this farm, which is like the main section of this farm, and he's hitting every scrape. Like, yeah. he's running in the middle of the farm right now. So. Yeah, that'll help you out. Probably move yeah. some deer in here. Hopefully some more deer move in, and what a stud. What a way yep. to start the season off. October 3rd last night. Yep. How many deer did you end up seeing? Probably 30 deer. 30 this is deer. the only buck I saw. 
That's crazy. So I'd say he had everything out of there. Do some dough management over there. Yep, we need to. But you'll have bucks. Yep, for sure. All right, man. What a way to start the season. Uh, this hunt wouldn't have been possible without Cole. I can't can't thank him enough. Uh, he's he's hunting too, and he he was nice enough to let me go in there and hunt that deer. And I just can't thank him enough. He knows how much it means to me to uh, hunt. He knows I love hunting, and uh, I owe him for sure.